is it focused like hello i don't know if i'm focused am i i think so okay hi hello and welcome to this week in my life kind of vlog if it's your first time on my channel hi welcome i am anushka i am an artist i'm half french half german and i live in germany uh, I have a full-time job and I try to make as much art as possible in my free time. This week you'll see me trying to start and finish a painting that I wanted to do for my godmother's birthday and also just the like everyday struggle of trying to juggle my full-time job, my own art and just my life and also having a dog. Tula is her name by the way and she is the cutest. Yes, that's it. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, okay. Ah, and also a little disclaimer, it's not really a whole week because it's from sunday to friday we're missing one day but while you're still here i would love to get to know you i'm so curious to know who is watching my videos because for me it's kind of a one-way thing when i'm like just standing here with my camera and talking of course to you guys in a way but i'm in fact just talking to my camera and it's always nice to see your comments just yeah tell me where you're from what are you doing are you an artist like me or do you do something else it would just be a pleasure to go through the comments and get to know you a little bit better also if you have a youtube channel just drop it i'm always like looking out for new stuff to watch so i'm i'm like super curious <laughs> okay so let's go On this very first day of painting, it was a Sunday and I was craving some like quality time with my boyfriend because the other weekends, like we had a few weekends before that one where we were just doing so much stuff. Like we went on trips, we were partying, we had friends coming over. So we had like a very jam-packed weekends before that one um and so on this weekend i i really i wanted to just chill and have a great time with pablo but i also wanted to get this painting done because this painting is a gift for my godmother and my godmother had her birthday in March <laughs> and it was August so yeah I knew I wanted to have this painting finished by Friday because on Friday Pablo and I were heading to Berlin to my godmother's place um, because we had a flight to France on Sunday and we wanted to leave Tula in Berlin for the three weeks that we spent in France. So yeah, but the point is that I wanted to gift the painting to her on Friday. So on this Sunday I had the time and I really wanted to start it and to get a good portion done. But as I was saying, I also wanted to have a little bit of time with my boyfriend. So Pablo had the best idea. He just asked why I don't do a little painting setup in our living room and that way we can spend a little bit of time together but I also get a little bit of painting done. And yeah, that's what I ended up doing.
it was hard to get up this morning. It is Monday, 8 o'clock in the morning. And yesterday I thought that I could maybe paint this morning before... <laughs> before I begin to work for my, like, everyday job. But the weather is really good. And I need to go out with Tula today. And I think that this afternoon or at lunchtime it will be way too hot for her. So I'm thinking maybe I should go out now with her for an hour or so. Um, so that she's not getting too hot. And maybe paint in my lunch break. That could be a good idea. What are you doing? You need help? I need to I need to cut your nails, right? Yeah, I'll cut your nails later. I'll cut it later, baby. It's always I really like to paint, you know, but I also made my hobby my job. I'm like having a full-time job where I illustrate and create and it's always hard to not see my own personal stuff as work too um, and find the motivation to <laughs> and to find the motivation to like paint in the lunchtime when I spend the whole day illustrating for a client so yeah shall we go cutie? Hmm? what do you think? yeah I think we should go Yeah, I think it was a good decision. Such a like crispy air. So nice. This afternoon it will get up to 28 degrees Celsius, which is 82 something degrees Fahrenheit. I looked it up because I I, I could uh, Fahrenheit I cannot. I cannot think in Fahrenheit. I don't know what it is. Oh, look at these sunflowers. Wait. Yeah, so going out this morning with her was definitely a good idea. You have something to say to the camera? and work. I always let my um, palette soak in water before I try to wash it because it's way easier to get all those paint residue out when it's been soaking for a while. Really in love with this palette by the way. I really like it. Okay, let's work. You may see that my setup is a little bit different because I'm in the middle of like changing up the setup of this room again because with the desk being at the window like this, I had a problem with light um, because I always had like sun shining directly into my eyes and into my face in the afternoon. So I'm testing this out for a while, if it's fine or if I need to like cover up the windows a bit more. 
I'll see how I end up doing it, but but there's like definitely a art studio makeover coming up in autumn, I guess, when everything will be ready. Yeah, I think in autumn. Okay, so let's start our work day. It is 9.40. It's a little bit later than what I like to start. Like, I like to start at 8.30 um, so that I don't have to work too long in the evening, but on days where I need to go out with Tula, it just, it's just not possible. So if you're interested in my job, today I'm illustrating for a like role game on a website for a client. They need illustrations for each step of the game um, and like small animations. Um, so I will do the illustrations. I already did these sketches on my iPad and now I'm like illustrating in Illustrator so that it's vector based um, because in vectors you can like make it bigger, make it smaller, play around with it and always reuse the same assets uh, without redrawing it when it's like a close-up or something. So yeah, that's that's I think what I will do the whole day. I will illustrate on my computer, on Illustrator. Okay, so it's 6, no, 10 past 6 p.m. And I've just logged out of my, of my job. Like, oh, I just finished my eight hours of work and I'm exhausted. Um, oh, there's a little bit, you, you see, you see what I mean with the light? Like it's, it's too much. Okay, I can, yeah, here, here is fine. Okay, so unfortunately I didn't manage to paint during my lunch break because I just had to do a lot of stuff and hadn't really the time to like make a one and a half hours break or something. And I just made half an hour, I ate something very quick, like just bread with an egg. So yeah, I just had a 30 minutes break and it's 10 past 6 and I didn't paint. The question is, am I motivated to paint right now? I could definitely like see myself just sit on the couch and play a little bit of Moonstone Island. Like it's, it's, a, it's a cute cozy game. But I don't have the time to paint tomorrow. Neither do I have the time to paint the day after tomorrow. So that leaves me just with Thursday and that's not enough. Uh, because I'm afraid that I will not be able to finish it in just one go. Um, yeah, so I guess I have to take out my paints and paint a little bit so that it's done until Friday. I don't know. Yeah, that's that's the struggle with with a full-time job. I mean, I have to remember I like painting. I really like it. So, I don't know.
yesterday. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's do this first. Hi. It's 7.30. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. And I'm, I'm so close to go to work so that I can stop earlier this afternoon and don't have to work till the evening. But I really want to get this painting done. I really want to. And like painting yesterday evening was really hard. I didn't felt it. I think the um, ground is getting better, but I'm... It's, it's not finished. <laughs> like I added details in the leaves and on the ground and I don't know what it is. I think the trees are not light enough. Um, the trees in the foreground need, need to need a little bit of, of, yeah, of white, I think. Oh, sorry if you hear the motorcycle. Yeah, so I think, what, what, what are you doing? Oh, I think she's chasing a spider or something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I want to lighten up the trees in the foreground to give it a little bit more depth, and and then I'll see I'll see how it how it turns out in the end. But yeah, I I'm going to I'm going to paint right now. I'm not going to wait until the evening. Oh, I need to take my hair up today, I think, because it's too warm. down true black or true white because true white is for me a little bit too harsh so I like to give it even if it's just the slightest tint of some color but it always adds a little bit of something and yeah I, I don't like to use like the pure white in some cases I will do it if it's really just like the tiniest, smallest detail and if the uh, painting is in itself very light um, then I will maybe use a little bit of white to highlight some things but um, in this case it's not super light so I can highlight things without using pure white on this one um, like I think this color is pretty pretty light in comparison yeah is fine or not. I think it's good. I don't know if I want to cover it completely up or if I like leave the dark spaces. Not covering it up completely can lead to like some parts of the underpainting peeking through and I really like that effect. But as it's like small parts, it can also get a little bit, I don't know how to say it, like a little bit too messy um, and too PC, like, uh, and make it seem like it's not like one solid thing. Um, so yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm doing it like this for now and We'll see later, but I think the color is fine. Yeah, way better, way better in bright. Like it's popping way more and it's making it friendly, I guess. Okay, let's go. Um, do I need to darken it for this one? Because it's slightly behind it. I'm guessing yes. A little bit at least. Not too much, but the tiniest bit. 
Is it darker? Is it? Yeah, a little bit, right? I'm talking a lot to myself when I'm <laughs> when I'm painting. You just don't usually hear it because when I'm like rambling and making no sense, I just edit it out at the end. <laughs> Okay, so this color, yeah, it's definitely brighter, I guess, okay, is it bright enough? That's a whole other question. Yesterday evening when I was painting, I like, I, I didn't felt it yesterday, I was PMSing, I couldn't see the improvement while painting and I was like, I was just not in the mood, but I had the feeling that I had to do it because I really want to finish it before Friday and I, I like, I painted for maybe, yeah, I don't know, two and a half hours or three hours and at the end I was just like, okay, I need to stop. And Pablo, my boyfriend, was like, why why are you doing this? Like, just stop it. Yeah, but I'm in a way better mood today and um, I can already feel it in like the painting. Um, I don't know, sometimes it's difficult. Like, it's, it's always difficult to be in the like, I, what I call ugly phase of a painting. It's it's the phase where How do I describe this? Okay, so there's a few phases for me in uh, the painting So there's the beginning where I plan out everything where I like uh, draw on, in my sketchbook and on my iPad and I'm hyped about something and um, the sketch turned out great and the color planning turned out great and I really like the rough digital painting and then I eventually start the traditional painting and the beginning always is nice I mean I put down a beautiful bright color in the beginning and everything looks bright and nice and then I put down like the what is this sound? I think I need to stop talking and continue talking on like voiceover because it's the sound is getting louder and louder and worse and worse and I don't want you to hear this. Oh, it stopped. Okay. Maybe maybe it's getting better now. We wait until the tram passes by and then I continue talking. Okay, so I talked about the phases. Yeah, so and then the next phase is beginning the traditional painting, as I said. Putting down the underpaint, putting down the overall uh, composition of the painting I planned. And this part of the painting is still fun, but then comes the part where like the color blocking is finished and I try to slowly get in the more detailed and refined composition. And this is the part where it gets messy. Like, this is the part where the colors are not right yet, um, it's a little bit wonky, the, the like, yeah, it's the overall painting is in its most, what I call, ugly stage. So I always need to like, remember okay this this is part of the process i just need to continue and it will get better i know that it will get better but when i'm pmsing as yesterday i i i didn't felt it like i was <laughs> i was telling myself it's never getting better i don't know what i'm doing here am i even good enough to paint this in a traditional way and I mean that's bullshit I know it I know that I can do it I already did it so I, I just need to push through but as I said when I'm PMSing it's not it's not the easiest to push through um, 
and so yesterday I just stopped and it was a great decision I think because sometimes you just need a fresh look uh, the next day this morning when I looked at the painting I was like oh I mean it's not it's not that bad so yeah I think that's all I want to say rambling a little bit I'm kind of impressed that I managed to make sense in my words while painting because I normally am not able to multitask like not at all <laughs> way better than earlier this morning. Mm, it's 9.30, I guess I need to work for now and leave it. Yeah, always keeping my bottle near me when I work or when I do whatever at home because if I don't keep it near me, I just forget to drink and I want to stay hydrated, so there she is. The daily grind. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit weird filming myself on the street like this because it's like lunchtime and people are out and I'm not alone on the street so this feels very weird um, just wanted to give you a little update on my day because Pablo is sick and so he will not be able to go out with Tula today so I'm doing it so I think the day is going to be a very long one um, I'm going out in my lunch break right now with her, but yeah, I guess I will be working until, I don't know, 8 p.m. or something? Yeah, so that's the everyday struggle with being an artist and having a full-time job and a dog. But I mean, I get to go out. Also good for me. <laughs> Another day, another walk. <laughs> I um, I did not paint yesterday evening because I had to cook. I, I totally forgot that like I need to cook something. So I don't know, I worked and then I cooked and then we ate. I did a kind of bibimbap, but it's like a Korean bowl thing with rice and vegetables and, and a very good sauce. What is she? What is she looking at? Did you see something? Is there something, Tula? Come. Come. I don't know what she saw. Okay, so yeah, today actually the plan was not painting, but starting early in the morning my work so that I can quit, not quit my job, so that I can stop working earlier and uh, go meet friends but Pablo is still sick so I am going out with Tula this morning which means that I start later to work which means that I will stop work later so yeah I already cancelled my plans but the good thing about it is that I will probably have time in the evening to paint and maybe to finish the paint because I think we're already at a good spot with the painting but yeah let's see okay i think i need to play a little bit a little bit with tuli ooh look at this
Okay, it's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Um, it took me a while to edit it. I just came back from a three weeks vacation to France where I did nothing. Like, I, I took my stuff to edit with me to France, but I just, I, I was just having fun in my sketchbook when I had free time. So yeah, that's that. But I really liked to edit this vlog. I don't know why, but like showing you the struggle of the whole week and I'm so happy that I was able to finish the painting because my godmother loved it. I was a little bit apprehensive about it, if she would like it or not, but she did like it, so all good. And yeah, here's, here's the finished painting, by the way. Let's do a little b-roll moment here to show you the painting. I think I got the shots in like the garden of my godmother. I think that Probably the next video will be about what I did in my sketchbooks this year when I was traveling to France. So yeah, stay tuned for that one and see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs>